Hello everyone and w welcome to another review and today is a, n a special day because I, um, I'm uploading two videos and I, this comes on rarely. I did it last time with uh, Bajin Boo and I think uh, The Seekers, uh, The Hot Link and Thunder Crackle. But today's review is DC's Multiverse De 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 Comics Batman. But before we actually take a look at the figure, let's take a look at his box. And here is uh, Detective Comics Batman's box. Bring up this a little bit. There you go. And you can see it's just all the DC Multiverse box. Same thing. You see DC Multiverse uh, number 1000. Nick Farland toys. And you get the beautiful, beautiful uh, card or artwork. I really like this. I actually took this out. I usually never like breaking up the box, but I actually took this out because I really, really yeah, I like that art. And come to the side, just Batman and all of it, and it's just a box. Let's get into the review. And also, yeah, I got it for twenty dollars. I didn't actually get these guys um from a store. I know these this is coming out now, but when I got this guy, there was none of these near stores near me. I got it actually from a toy store near the beach. Let's get into the review. Stop rambling. And now we're done with the box. We actually take a look at the uh, figure and his sculpting. And holy crap, this is probably the best Batman they put out to date. I really didn't like uh, the animated Batman because I never watched the show and I really didn't really care. Um, the Arkham Batman, I didn't like that one. And they also another Batman with uh, really high boots and a like puffed up collar. I really didn't like that one. And... This is the only Batman I really like because he just looks like Batman. He's nothing else. He's Batman. And being my second figure that I'm reviewing on this channel that's actually not a Transformer, he is articulated to shit, boy, and I've been loving this guy. He's... I haven't been playing with nothing but Transformers for a good bit and having an actual highly articulated, uh figure just reminds me holy crap transformers are really don't have that much uh articularity but like i said let's get into the sculpt um not much just these this on uh, this uh like i guess raised um texture on his thigh some on his uh to break up that texture again and that's it there's not much for his sculpt besides what you see you just Batman, like I said, this guy is just Batman. There's some weird paint thing going on his bat logo, but I really don't care. This guy comes with two accessories. Uh, let's take a first look at his black bat battering. Um, a bit fat, but it matches what it's on his chest. And I know, I know, uh, people have been saying it's, it's fat, but I think they made it fat to fit in his hand. And let's look at his grapple gun. Um, the grapple gun is actually extended and it has this little wire. You are actually are able to put this in his hand and he can hang off with it. The, the, connect, uh, the connection, uh, connection, the friction is strong enough for him to hang on this. And I'm just, I'm putting in my fingers, I'm just wiggling it. He does have enough strength to hold it. And I've been actually putting him on like uh, one of my necklaces, and yeah, he's been holding, and it's been really, really good. I liked it. And as for paint, there's not much, much paint from this guy, but besides like here on his pelvis, on um, on his boots, and all the dark spots are um, as you see, like the black spots are painted. His eyes is painted in his face, and the belt is painted uh, yellow, but not that's good. I wish they made it more warm black. You kind of so you can see. Uh, the gray uh, peeking through and but that's really the only thing yeah I've noticed it but yeah it's not a big, big issue I really care about now one that I do care about some of the joints are kind of loose like the ankle uh the ankle like this up and down the pin here are loose if you don't have them just right if you like tip toe them tip over to him like if he leans a little bit over he will fall over there's no not any really strength holding his uh angle joint down if you put him over a little bit he will fall and mostly it's because of the cape this thick plastic is weighing him uh, a little bit he's a little bit and it's not top heavy but he weighs more on this side you will find it out and they do have a little stand 
um, that, that does come with the figure, but I don't have it. I think I gave them all away to my brother. So, yeah. And only reason I did that, I'm pretty good at posing my figures and knowing the limitations, and uh, a stand won't do anything with that. It's, it's a simple, simple stand that just plugs into a... Um, to his feet and i have different stands i have better stands if i really really need to get him into uh higher uh articulated poses like um swinging or something like that or uh, doing um, some dynamic thing i can get him into a pose and not needing a little stand it's not really a stand it's a little peg thing that he can pick his feet on to give him a little bit more surface uh area and his articulation is let's oh, don't do that let's start with the head um Heads with a, on a ball joint, so full 360. Actually, if I pop this off, it's on a actually a um, ball bell. Uh, what is it? Um, I forgot what it's called. Uh, bard bell. Let's call it that. A bard bell jo joint. That's basically just two balls connected together with one stick or one line, and actually they take off his whole. Uh, cape, you can see it's on a ball joint, so the cape does move freely than the head, so it doesn't get in the way of our interrelation, so, which is next. He does have somewhat of a butterfly joint, but it opens that far, but it doesn't go anywhere on the back. Um, his arm can open that wide, down that low. Does it have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the hand, and also up and down at the hand. You can pivot the hand. Come on, there you go. He pivoted the hand. Move my leg. He does have um, a waist swivel and also a crunch both ways. Um, length thighs. There is, you can see, just a hinge joint, I think, on top of the swivel. So he can spread his legs that wide and double jointed uh, knees can almost touch his butt and at his feet like i said these are loose uh, ankle pivot and up and down and also a toe bend which marvel doesn't have in any of the marvel legends for some reason and now let's go on to the transformation what yeah no transformation uh, thank god transformations take a good bit part of the video makes them a little bit long and now let's get into the size comparison. G1 Bumblebee, NECA Godzilla vs. King Kong, and MP10. And finally, Earthrise Grapple, which is my next review. And his posability is actually really good. It allowed me to pull off this. Um, it's, all, it's what you get from a multiverse uh, one, but... It's it's really good. I like it. Um, a lot of people don't like these exposed ball joints, but I'm fine with it. It's more like um, my fallen style to have those. And I do the 360. And you can clearly see he's really, really good. I like him. And fortunately for me, I like this so much, I'm going to put this in the thumbnail. So, yes, so overall, I really like this guy. And I, I just can't stop like posing him with this stand. Uh, this is a NECA stand, and the NECA stands do really well because these guys don't have uh, five millimeter ports on their backs, so you can just grab the figure. It has this little claws; you can just grab a figure, and it's doing really, really well. So yeah, if you really want this guy, go get him. He's like twenty bucks on uh, Tiger and Walmart. No, actually, Walmart's 25. But if you, I think you probably can find this guy in the store. They've been reissuing him out. I've been seeing a lot of them. So, yeah. Now, this is a really a nicer sound. <laughs>